Hello there, my name is Gidster, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. I need better access to dyes, so in this episode, I create a pretty cool looking flower farm and a great looking squid farm slash cactus farm, and I spent almost three hours on about 12 seconds of this video. Can you guess which part? So I'm gonna make a flower farm first, but before I do that, I wanna work on making this whole area actually snow. So this, this, all this stuff I did over here, I'm gonna do it over here. And that's why I left the, the blocks here so I can put all the snow in here. So it's time to get grinding. Actually, I lied. I need to make a snow farm first because I need snow to place and I, I don't really have that much. But guess who made a snow farm tutorial? This guy. The very first video I ever posted on YouTube was a snow farm tutorial for like uh, Minecraft. And uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I made that so long ago, but I'm literally following my own tutorial right now. All right, so I will make a proper farm after this with like a building and everything eventually, but like right now I literally just need a little bit of snow. So uh, I made a snow farm. Let's go. Thanks, Gidster. Now with all the snow, I can start building. All right, this area is looking great. Um, obviously I have to do this path. I just kind of left it as grass for now, but I'll figure that out later. And I'll be hiding all of this lighting underneath, but so far I really kind of like the way that this looks and I can really see that it's gonna, it's gonna come together once it starts to really get detailed and I'll part, start putting more snow and stuff all over. So I'm happy with how this turned out. So now I need to build the flower farm. That's what I'm gonna work on first. And I think I'm gonna build it right in this area right here. I'll be using Navy Nexus's flower farm and it uses the technique where you put the flower one block below and then you bone meal it and it creates all the flowers around. So it's a really good farm. I've built it before, not in this world, but in other worlds I've played on. And honestly, it's really, really good. So I'm going to build that real quick. All right, the flower farm is working. Uh, I got it all put in and uh, I kind of forgot to mention this. If you're wondering about my totem of undying, uh, I just uh, accidentally started a raid while I was breeding some villagers. I did not mean to start the raid when I did and I fought them and then I died and it was, but I got some totems out of it. So that's good. This flower farm is really good. I have like, a, it just pushes it back and forth. It's super simple and uh, I love it. It makes so many flowers. I need to turn it off. I'm making too many flowers. Now I have to get a building in for this and uh, I'm gonna see if I have the blocks for it and I'm gonna start putting things down and I will be right back. All right, I got I got a building in. I like it a lot. It's uh, uh, a little bit of a, I took a little bit of, I don't know, risks, I guess, in some of the things I built, but uh, like I've never really built with any of these red blocks before, but I kind of like the way that it turned out. And as you can tell, I just literally just stole the tower design from here and just put it there. And then like I, 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 there's so many elements of this build that I've taken from anything else in the area and that's kind of what I've been doing is I've just been taking an element from every build and just like and piecing it all together. The newest part though would be this dragon and honestly it almost looks like a like an alien from the aliens movies <laughs> but I, I like it it's uh it's pretty cool and uh it kind of just like crawls along the top and there's a tail and it, it looks really good I like it a lot. I might have to start putting more dragons like around <laughs> on uh, the roofs of some of the newer builds I build and uh I put in a bunch of these trees I got like I made a, di a bunch of different sizes so this is the tallest one this is like a medium and then here's a, uh, a shorter one and I even built a, a crooked one like this so got a bunch of trees in here so I think I'm gonna put in a path that goes from here to there and uh, yeah these trees are awesome I think and they, they really fill in the area also do you see this these are uh, these are coral blocks so like let me tell you how these are kept alive you have to have water so there's like an inside to this section it's all just waterlogged stairs and then I decided to also just make a, uh, a bubble column here so I just take the bubble column up to about halfway and then there's a second floor here. It's pretty cool. But like that, that's how I'm using these to keep them alive. And I, I like the way they look. It's really cool. Haven't put anything in here. I probably will just put storage of dyes. I assume just some chests and stuff. I don't really have any uh, plans for up here. I feel like that's a problem, but whatever. And a uh, nice little balcony area where I can just, you know, take off from. It'd be great. So yeah, I, I, I really like this build and I'm, I'm really filling in the area from like here to here and then what I think I really need to work on, maybe in the next episode, I need to fill in like this little section right here in between this farm and this uh, this house here, the, the enchanting room, because then, then it'll be connected from like all the way over here on this ice mountain thing I made all the way to those new builds instead of like there's a little bit of a gap where it's like kind of weird where it's just like 
not quite connected. I guess it kind of connects along here, but I'm really trying to, you know, connect everything together so that it's really nice. <laughs> Now that I got my flower farm in, I'm going to move on and I think I want to work on a squid farm. And I think I'm going to build it right in this area, right? Because it has to be in an ocean. So right in this little dock area. And I've been seeing this island. It looks really cool. I've, you see, I kind of been working on it, but I think I am going to have a change of plans. So I'm going to build it right in this area. And I think I got a pretty cool idea for what it's going to be. So uh, let's get building. So the first thing I'm gonna do is like shape this island. Uh, I want it to be more of just just the crescent shape. I think that that'll look good. And uh, like I want to bring this side of the mountain or the hill down into the water and kind of match this edge that's already there and just totally like get rid of this whole section and completely just make the island by itself like stick out of the ocean. I think it's gonna look good. I might have gotten a little bit too carried away with cleaning up the lagoon area, but here's a before and an after of the lagoon. And I think it look, it's looking quite good. In Hermitcraft season six, Good Times with Scar made this like volcano looking thing. It was really cool. I like it a lot. And uh, I really like the way that the beaches look. And so that was the inspiration originally for, uh, for making this little island here. And I made it all out of sand. And I don't think it looks bad. Um, I like it, but I was wondering like what it would look like if I made it out of more gray blocks, like, I'm very interested to see if, if it will look good out of like dead coral and stuff because I think I don't really have any sandy areas in this in any of my builds so I think this might look better kind of it won't stand out as much if it's more gray blocks so um, I am going to try to see what it's going to look like uh, if I use coral blocks I have a bit of coral blocks but this is this is literally all that I have so we'll see uh, we'll see how much it lasts me and we'll see what this looks like. As I'm building this, I actually kind of want to do like bigger chunks of coral blocks versus, so when I did the snow over there, um, I kind of did like a little bit less chunks, but I kind of want like larger sections of kind of the same block. So maybe it's like mostly this dead coral block. And I, I really like the way that this looks. It kind of looks like, like large rocks and I, I really like it. And then maybe we can, we can also come in with some like cobblestone as well. Cause it's got that dark, like like look as well. And I really also like the tough with it as well. These three blocks together, I think are gonna, I think these three blocks together are really gonna look quite good. I've got a decently sized section done here and it's all like it's textured and it looks great, like even down here. But I wanted to show you this. I've actually kind of already tested this out, but you see how it looks like it, it's all just gray. Like there's, it's just a gray blob. Like you can kind of tell um, you can see where the coral blocks are because they're darkest, but you can't tell the difference really between the stone, the andesite, and the cobblestone. Like, it all just kind of blurs together. So I want to actually come in with darker blocks to fix that problem. So le let me show you what I mean. So then if we come in with like darker blocks like this, it's like a, a really strong contrast like here in the um, up close, but kind of like in the like distance. At a distance, then you can actually like start to see it. Like you see, you can just see the little dark patch there and it's not just all gray. And uh, I think I'm going to utilize this both both a darker and a lighter section so that I can kind of texture this so that I'm not going to be looking at this island from up close very often. So if you can look out from this distance and start to see the textures, then I think it's going to look really good. So I'm going to start, you know, just going at it and building this thing. Let's let's see how it turns out. This island is looking great. I really like it. Um, I'm glad I, I, you know, changed from the sand to to these blocks because I mean I don't know. I really like this darker stoneish texture, and there's there's lots of texture in here. Um, I think you could use more of the patches of the darker and lighter textures, but 
I don't know. It's it's looking great. Um, and then uh, obviously I have to build the squid farm part of the squid farm. And that's just going to be a build that goes on top. And I got a whole box of stuff here, a bunch of different textures. And uh, I'm going to use these and I'm going to create a squid farm. And it's going to be right in this area and it's going to look great. So let's get building. This build is really great. I love the way that it turned out. What do you think, Samantha? Wait. What do, you, what do you mean I should have waxed the copper blocks before I placed them? I, I, I don't think I asked for your opinion. What? Don't, don't tell me how to play the game. I, I'm the one who built it. I think it looks good. Okay, fine. I'll build a wax farm in the next episode. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. And until the next one, stay spicy, boys.